and here. <coughs> the um, god damn it. The um, the place where we're going is the uh, graveyard, which is where you will find the entrance to the catacombs, which you can enter pretty early. And there are some stuff you can find if you do. Um, but it's not. I don't know, there's some tough things there and some not tough things. The boss is one of those not tough things. He's notorious for being really easy. But also, if you read his backstory or know his backstory, then you will know maybe why he's so easy. But, anyways, uh, here I want. Wow. Weak. Um, I want the divine weapon for the skeletons because um, if they have glowing eyes, they can't be like defeated unless you destroy the uh, kill the necromancer, which is this fella down here, or he's one of them. Uh, then they can't respawn, and therefore. No, uh, you don't need to have a divine weapon, but so you could either ignore them uh, and kind of uh, what's going. Uh, you could ignore the skeletons, just rush and kill the necromancer, and then kill the skeleton. Or you could use the divine weapon to kill the skeletons and then switch and whatever. I think I'm just gonna try and run past them, or at least these in this area now are uh, killable. Oh, cool, they die in one hit. Uh, rush? Okay. When they get in that stance, they're in a uh, parry stance, so it's best not to attack them, because if you attack them, they will parry you. They will hit you. It's just, you know. And here I will just shoot this guy with arrows until he dies since he apparently is unable to hit me and therefore I can now kill these guys and you know if they're dead if you get souls from killing the skeletons otherwise if they reanimate then you won't get their souls so that's an easy way to see if um, if you if they're dead I mean well, alright it hit my head as well, wow. No, that is. I don't really like the catacombs because it's dark and um, full of skeletons and uh, not fun at all. And it's very hard to. Uh oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Uh, screw it. I thought I. Uh, had been here before since I th I thought I had grabbed the uh, great scythe, but I obviously I I didn't because I um, used a plus ten halberd or halberd whatever to upgrade to the life on scythe. So that I did not I did not come here before. Right. Yep. So you just go through these guys. These are just a minor hazard right now. Can ignore some, and you need to be car careful with some of those statues because they will have like spike coming out from them, so they could uh, hurt you and maybe kill you if you're low enough health. If you have low enough health, so be careful about that. Uh, don't go there. Don't go there. That is your target to go there, but you need to flip a switch. But I will shoot this guy to begin with. Because I can. And he can do shit about it. Oh, no, okay, good. And these skulls will explode, so run, just run past them. Or did they explode? One didn't at least. Oh, right, yeah. There, you see the spikes. Or maybe they. What? Did they didn't explode? Alright, whatever. Alright, there you can see. Um, 
a character. You will see him later. He's a douche. Wait a minute. He. I don't know, but I think he might not su be supposed to be there. He's usually there earlier. Wait, what? Alright, now I'm confused. Because I have thought that he was going to be there earlier because... What? Okay, um, because I think if it's this, this bridge that you try and walk over and he will flip the switch and it will, you know, turn meaning you will die unless it's that one down there are you gonna move patches or okay whatever run hopefully it wasn't this bridge right and you from the necromancers you get the skull lantern which you could also use to illuminate uh, dark places right so he's there and if I like sw flip the switch uh, from his position I'm pretty sure that bridge gets turned over but when you try to cross it he will turn it again and you will fall down I think that's the bridge and how it goes so now you get here here's an item Statue has spikes, be careful of that. Here's some enemies. Ouch. There was spikes there. They hurt. Uh, how many skeletons are there? Three. Easy. Whoa. Oh, now there's more. Kill those. Back. There we go. It's good that my weapon is so powerful because then I have no problem killing them. It would be more difficult if they took more hits. But well, whatever. So. Alright, you can go down there and unlock a. and find a blacksmith and unlock a thing. But. It's it's whatever, you know. Don't need to. Otherwise you can go here. <coughs> drop down there. And here there's a path with uh, crystal lizards. Whatever. Okay, fine. Missed. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Climb up. And you can hear the waterfall, so I'm pretty sure we're getting close to patches. Though I don't know if he's gonna be here. Now, if he is, then it's weird because I don't think he has been before. I don't remember how this... Oh no, you dropped down here. Right. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um... Hmm. This place always makes me uh, a bit confused because I'm not entirely sure. Oh, all right, yeah, right. You're supposed to go here and drop down there, and he from here you can. Uh, where is it? You can go down here. All oh, right, and then you can go here. Cool. You could drop from the bridge. To this place but whatever all oh, right patches flip the bridge knows that oh and right here it's a hidden wall which I didn't find until <laughs> a fair long time after I had beaten the game which is pretty interesting I hadn't even seen anyone find it in playthroughs so I was like whoa what the fuck Pretty, pretty, uh, what's it called? Surprise for that. 
But yeah, right, so now you go up the stairs, ladder, and you talk to Patches. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? No, I'm not a cleric. No? Well, that's strange. Oh, I know what it is. You come from the dream kids, haven't you? Well, whatever it is, this place is treacherous. You watch your step. <laughs> right, do watch your step. So you, you're like, all right, whatever. Oh, there's a fog there. I'm going to go there. Work the work the work. No. Yep, there we go. And um, he decides he wanted to flip the uh, the lever. So uh, you could either die there, you know, if you didn't know, or you could just go back and be like, "What the fuck, dude? What? Why did you do that?" Ah. Oh, well, how are you then? I slipped and put that lever. It didn't cause you any trouble, my chance. No. Oh, really? Yes, I see. Radio. Then everything's good, isn't it? I'm Trusty Patches, the one and only. You and I. Just a couple of undead outcasts. Right, mate? <laughs> right. Oh, well, okay. I need to flip the switch. If you don't mind. I don't know what he says because I don't usually find him there. Let's see here. Will he do it again? No, Chris Mark. A, A, okay, no, he won't. Um, well, I hope so at least. I think a way you can do is his way that you either progress or I think you get the uh, here you at least get the great sight. Then, all oh right, uh, you can go down here and pull this switch. Oh wait a minute. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't know what that switch is for. Maybe I should pull that. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Right, I dropped down here. This is where you need to go. More or less. Either way. There. There's a tiny demon. You don't need to fight him. It's just whatever. Um. Somewhere. There is a um. Is it here? No. Somewhere there is a coffin. Is this one? No. That's probably the one I looked at. It's this one right here. Where you can go into and you can join the covenant. And whatever. You can fight that fight night demon if you want. I won't. Uh, behind him I think is a the dark sounds ring. So sounds ring or whatever. Uh, which makes you... Uh, I think it's like you can have more spell slots or something, but it also has a uh, different uh, feat or feature, different effect if you have it on. Oh right, there's a guy here. Whatever, climb down the ladder. We double tap, please. Thank you. Right and here, the ground. Oh. Here the ground will just get destroyed. You can drop down here. Here there will be a black knight. Yes, you know. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you're aware. And there he goes. He drops a thing. You pick up this thing. And now you get to the pit of doom because here you will need to be careful. Very careful because here's bone wheel skeletons. Fucking like when you get here, you just zigzag everywhere and just don't run in a straight line because they will hunt you down and they will kill you. Free here endlessly. Ouch. Ouch. Fuck. God fucking damn it. Had I not stopped. 
I wouldn't have died. See what I mean? <laughs> they, um, they're pretty horrendous. Alright, let's try that again. Let's see here. Um, goddammit. I'm guessing Patches isn't there anymore. Question mark. No. Run, please don't flip the switch, patch, you piece of shit. Good! White wall of doom. Oh, what? There was a skeleton there? Where does this lead to? Oh, this leads to here. Here you can destroy a wall, you can get a shortcut to somewhere. And here you can go. This is the way you're kind of, well, I guess, supposed to, or whatever, to get to that place again. The bone wheel skeletons. But this time, I will actually follow my advice and just run because the boss fog was pretty much right there. And um, yeah. And a fact about the boss is um, I did say that it will. Oh, fuck's sake. Just jump down. It doesn't hurt you that much. Drop down here. The Black Knight won't be here anymore. My, uh, so my souls are uh, over there. Fun! I guess you can hold up your shield while you're running. Won't fucking matter if you're, if they're behind you, but, like, whatever. God fucking damn it. No, no, no. Just try and, try and outrun them and whatever. No, boss fog, please. Yes! This one here, roll. Okay. Good. They can't cross it, you know, so. That's good. And now, the thing about this boss, I did say it was easy, and it's uh, considered one of the easiest, but it's actually. He uh, can hurt you pretty bad if he, if he actually hits you with his attacks. Uh, since he uses magic, he can hurt pretty bad he can uh, do some serious damage but um, unless you like one or two shot him then he won't be able to he won't have time to do those moves so it's all good in the hood and here we go here's the boss the boss called uh, pinwheel yes there we go he was split but all you can do is just move forward and uh, just attack him a bunch and uh, dead, four shotted. Like he, he doesn't. It's, it's a joke, really. And from him, you get the right of kindling, which makes you able to uh, have um, ah my nose, which makes you able to have um, twenty estus flasks at max, I think, if you kindle your bonfire. So that's good. Now, we entered the Tomb of the Giants. It is pitch fucking black. Can't see a goddamn thing. But, a good thing is that you can put on the fancy little sunlight maggot helm that we found. Can I do this? Oh yeah, I can equip this. Perfect. And there will be a little ball of, or uh, a little orb of light. Which makes you able to see things. It's pretty handy. Especially when you're dealing with these guys. Or they... Yes, perfect, they die. There's no necromancers here, I'm pretty sure. So you won't have too much of a problem here. And there's some items you can get. It's like a little bit everywhere. Um, but some you need to do some dangerous jumps and falls to. Eh, it's not the best, so be be careful. That's my advice. But uh, the the normal way is you go here. You're okay, thank God. Oh fuck. Heal. Wait until he gets close, maybe. Then kill him. Please kill him. Boom. Perfect. Right, you're dead. 
Then you go up to this coffin and you slide down.